For those of you that don't know us, we're Don and John. I'm Don, this is John. We've been traveling full time since 2019 in our travel trailer. Come along with us for the ride. Hey, I'm Don. And I'm John. And welcome to our channel. Hey, we're gonna give you guys a tour of our travel trailer today. It's a 19.1 no boundaries travel trailer. It's a 2020 model. And we've been living in this thing since about mid-October of last year. So uh, it's small, but it works for us. So we'll take you a little closer and show you the outside and then we'll go on the inside. Here's a closer look at the trailer. We'll show you guys the back deck down in just a little bit. It does have a ladder on the side that you can access the roof. It has a roof rack on top that we don't use other than mounting our cell booster. This trailer came with torsion axles. They're 3,500 pounds each. And it gives it a good smooth ride. It also has some pretty aggressive tires on it, which is pretty nice. They've got a good ply on the side and you can take it off road without having to worry about getting a puncture. A little further up here, we have the valves for the sewer. We have them both open right now. We installed the Nature's Head composting toilet and then we installed a Valterra valve here. So we can leave those two valves open and then just leave this one closed, which gives us double the gray capacity. There's a black tank flush here and also a spray port. So you can use that to wash your motorcycle or hose your dog off or whatever, although the water's not hot. And you can also use it to flush out the black tank with a small hose if you happen to get to an RV dump that does not have water. This is our six gallon water heater. This is our pass through. It goes all the way up to the bed to the other side of the trailer. And then there's the fresh and city water also right there between the two. So we ended up putting on two 30 pound propane tanks. It had one 20 pound mounted right dead in the center, but that just wasn't enough for us. So we bought a kit, put on two big tanks, and we also installed two six volt batteries. And there's a 210 watt solar panel further up on the roof. This is the other half of our pass through the bed. Oh, sure. It's where they came with a 16 foot awning. Lots of really good shape. This trailer has a looks what looks to be a full glass door, but it it's not full. It uh, when you open it on the inside, it's just got a window, which is great, and it's got a built-in shade. But the rest of the door is just like a normal door. I don't know why they did that, but it works and it doesn't look too bad. The steps that are on it, we had to modify. We had to end up taking the, all of the rivets out of the top right there and we cut it down about two or three inches. We were having to dig holes everywhere we went and uh, that didn't work for us so we did a little modification so we can actually use them. What we really like is the porch light is amber but if you flip it, it is a floodlight which is very very bright at night. Alrighty, we're going to take you guys inside now. This is the living room area, I guess you'd call it. And uh, it's a TV up above. It comes with like a little JBL speaker. We installed this furnace down below here. It's basically a infrared heater and it takes no battery and no fan or anything. So it's quiet it, and it uses no power at all. So very efficient on propane. We've installed some bins down below here that just have extra junk in them basically. Um, your thermostat on the wall which controls the heat and the air conditioning. Uh, we got a little vacuum over there in the corner we installed also. We put most of our canned food down here over the axles because we figured that it'd be better to have the weight towards the rear of the trailer because this trailer has I think gosh almost 1,500 pounds. 1500 pounds of tongue weight or something with the propane tanks on it. So it's very heavy, but uh, for a small trailer. And this is a view looking out the back with the gate down, which is really nice because you can spin the chairs around and sit out, you know, look outside. And you can also move the chairs to the side and then sit out on the back deck. So that's kind of a cool feature. So when we got this trailer, it had a sofa in this area that folded down off the wall. And there's a matching chair on that side. And then if you come over here, put these little black buttons in to cover up the, the screw holes in the wall, which look terrible. 
And we can reinstall those couches if we want. They're, we have all the hardware, we have everything for it, but, and they were super comfortable. They were not as comfortable as our chairs though. So it was a large trade-off. It also blocked off half of that window when it was folded up. So we just, you know, was too much, too much clutter. So we figured less is more and, and they weighed a ton. They weighed a ton, yeah. And if we have guests, we have plenty of floor space. We can bring in our lawn chairs or whatever and have plenty of people in here and still be comfortable. So going into the kitchen area, there's the refrigerator. It's a Dometic, I don't know, it's like a five cubic foot or something. Um, it's got a convection oven and microwave combo. And then down below was just wasted space. We actually knocked out the piece of wood that was there and... We have a ton of room under there. It's got a little spice rack, kitchen counter, which is small, but small two burner stove. A little bit noisy there. Just a basic sink, you know, range hood with storage up above with cups and all your gadgets and gizmos there, I guess. There's the upper cabinets that's over the bed we actually put most of our food in there and there's backlit lights in there which is kind of nice so that works out well and this headboard here actually was on that side of the bed and we took it apart and moved it we figured it'd be easier and we always sleep with our heads that way so and then down below here we installed a bed lift which was not with the trailer but that's pretty nice you can get to everything from the inside as well as the outside. Next to the bed is just a small cupboard. It was originally used as a closet, but we just use it as a pantry. We'll put a extra shelf in there and just a lot easier to use. We put a little three drawer system up here for whatever. And then we have our electric tea kettle and our Berkey water filter here. All right, well going into the bathroom area, we installed the Nature's Head composting toilet, which we love. It's, we can go about three weeks before we have to do any anything with it at all. It's just easy, 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 easy. Kind of tight in here, but right around the corners, all the gauges for our GoPower solar controller and tank monitors, lights, um, tank heaters. It's got black, gray, freshwater tank heaters, so that's kind of cool. We installed a... Just a small towel rack. And it's got a small vanity with a door that opens just for all of your personal stuff. Um, we did install a new faucet. It had one like the shower here, which was terrible. It was a, a double handle one. And in an RV, those things are tough because it's hard to get the water temperature right. And then that's just a bamboo towel holder we prop up in the shower. It just great for drying towels and when you need to take a shower you just take it out so one thing we did on this travel trailer the showers are a little bit squishy sometimes in these things you can get in there with this small vent as far as an access panel we ended up going on the outside wall here we put a different vent in with a larger hole now we can access all of the plumbing and we we're also able to get in there and beef up the shower so it's a lot sturdier and it feels much nicer when you're standing there. So we bought this trailer in October, the end of October last year, 2019. So we've been in it about 10 and a half months and we love it. Not as much as the casita that Sarah, my sister has, but we love it a lot. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe and share. Thank you for watching. Yes, thank you. Have a good night.